Hi everyone, I am Girish and today I am going to show how to create 3D animated pyramid in Microsoft PowerPoint. This pyramid will be looking like this. So when we click on this, we are going to see first level and on second click we are going to see second level and on third we are going to see third and finally on fourth we are going to see fourth level. So first we need to understand that why we require pyramids. So when we have labels in any business or any organization and we need to show the relationship, we use pyramid. So without wasting time, let's get started. But if you are new to this channel and uh, you haven't subscribed it, do not forget to subscribe. So without wasting time, let's create the same. So we are going to insert a new slide here that's going to be blank. So we select this blank slide. Let's uh, copy these colors because these are something we are going to use in our uh, slides. Let's paste it here. Now we are going to use uh, shape to create our pyramid. So go to insert, go to shape and we'll use this which is known as rectangle we feel we are going to use this and we'll take one inch height and one inch as width so this is perfect what we were looking for and we are going to take outline is no outline now we click here to format shape and we are going to Go to effect options. In effect option, we are going to um, go 3D rotations option and we'll select this, which is not an off axis one top. So we select this. Then we'll go to 3D format and we are going to take this bevel and we'll select this angle bevel here. So we can see a little bit of 3d options coming here now you know just to create it we have a formula that whatever height and width we have taken we need to multiply it with 36 so we have already taken one inch now we are going to multiply it by 36 which is going to be 36 in this case so now we have a 3d options here but we need to increase the height let's take height as 99 or maybe 100 100 would be perfect so we have taken now we we can see that we have perfect a 3d pyramid available now we are going to make just some adjustment here we are going to take a material let's select this one dark edges so now we have perfect plan here we we have already taken if we want lighting we can change it I'm pretty okay with three points so let's remain with it so this is our uh, you know first level we are going to create this but before this I just want to change uh, the color so go to shape fill and we are going to use this one which is known as uh, gray accent let's take it this color now we are going to uh, duplicate it by control D so when we do control D we are going to have a new one Earlier we have taken 1 inch, now we are going to take 2.1 inch height and same 2.1 inch width. 2.1 inch for inch we use this sign, so we have perfect height and width here. Send it to back and we can put it here. Perfect. Now we are going to make another copy of this. Let's do control D. This time we'll take 3.2 inches and 3.2 inches width. So perfect. We'll take this as we'll send it back and we'll put it here. So this is 3D 
third label now we are going to take another one so we'll create a duplicate now now we go to 4.3 inches and 4.3 inches so that's perfect and we can send it back and we are going to put it here so our perfect uh, you know pyramid is ready now we are going to copy this text you can you know insert it pretty easily you just need to wait and go to insert go to save you can just use any of this and finally you can add text so i don't want to waste time you can just use it as and when you require let's copy this Control c we can use this Control v here send to back perfect it seems perfect now go here Control C, we are going to take Control V and we are going to take it as label 2. Let's make it on right side on send to back. That seems pretty neat. Uh huh. We'll take third options Control C, we'll go here, Control V, and we are going to use it as label 3 send to back. It's looking perfect. Rather, we can just uh huh, and we're going to take top here, Control C and Control V. So this is like our fourth level. Send to back. We can just adjust it as per our requirement. So. Here we go. So we all for prototype is ready. Let's make animations now. So first we need to remove all the animation, go to animation pane. We have all these animation we need to remove it because it has been copied from the first slide. We have copies this um, text part. So we are going to insert um, animation now. So select first one and we are going to use this emphasis option and object color we are going to change color to this which is red increase uh, the duration to 0.75 then we'll go here and we'll select this as white this is com coming from bottom let's change it from left it seems perfect again change it to 0.75 and we can make it after previous select second one again we go to emphasis object color we can take second color here now we go here and you know we haven't increased the size we need to increase the duration 0.75 on this we are going to again use wipe and we'll take it from left we are going to increase the size and this after previous now go to third options again we are going to emphasis and object color this time we are going to take third options and for this again we are going to increase time we are going to take wipe apologize here we need to select this one and I need to click here wipe and again we are going to take it from left increase uh, the duration 0.75 and make it after previous the fourth one we are going to select finally fourth one we are going to object color and we'll take color as this one increase uh, the duration 0.75 finally last one we are going to take wipe and this is gonna to be left increase this 0.75 and after previous so our you know slide is ready we can show it uh, from here we click on a start from this slide you can see we are going to have blank one 
then we click on first click we are going to say the first level second click we are going to say the second level on third click we are going to see the third level and finally on fourth we are going to say the top level i hope you like this video if you like and haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe button we'll see you in next video if you want to learn more uh, powerpoint trips and tricks you can go to our uh, playlist and you can learn thanks for your time thanks for watching we'll see you in next video